Alright guys, it's been a couple weeks since I filmed the unboxing with the Chippy. I've had this on my baby a couple times. I've washed it lots and part of the reason that I wanted to start buying Chippies is I wanted to start having the conversation from somebody who's had a lot of experience with brands. I see people loving on Chippies all the time because it's what they know. And it's not what I know. We're going to take a minute because I need to put a diaper on a baby. Okay. Now that we've had that baby crisis gone, let's look at this. So. I don't like this diaper. I, I had a hard time testing it because I hated the fit. Sure, the fit was good the first time I put it on my child, but the fit was never good five, ten minutes in. The fit was never great afterwards. I make big kids, and Anna is 25 pounds, but this diaper is massive. It's massive. Seriously. So I've pulled out the Bum Genius 5.0, which I think is what they're kind of trying to knock off. And compared to the Bum Genius 5.0, this diaper is massive. Can you see? Can you see the difference, guys? Like, look at that. It's massive. Like, and if we're comparing it to the Bum Genius 5.0, yeah, this diaper is double cost, but this diaper has a uh, much thicker nicer PUL in my experience and we know what the micro suede is all about. I did get my inserts stuck in this diaper and I do get inserts stuck in this diaper as well but they really got stuck in here so you do need to make sure that you pull out the insert uh, before washing. This is made in China, this is made in the United States but if you're looking for something that's going to be a similar fit to the Bum Genius 5.0 this is not your diaper. See how the stretchy tab is double the size, maybe even triple the size. This is too much stretch. Way too much stretch for a good fit. It's also a totally different shape. Totally different shape. Just how like the length of the rise settings, the length of the diaper, how the elastic fits, it's just totally different. While I'm not a huge fan of the 5.0, if you love the 5.0, the Ellen font option is not a good choice for you. Trying to get a good fit on Anna, I'll show you some videos here, was ridiculous because like I just I felt like I couldn't get a good fit. I couldn't get a good fit over her thighs even just how this shape is. It just really fit the thigh really funny and it never dug in but it just like laid weird. Here, let me snap it up. And I was using the bamboo charcoal bamboo coffee inserts that I bought, but it just fit weird. Like it totally did. Like looking at the quality of this diaper, it just looks mediocre really. So I found that I got a lot of wing droop as well. So you kind of had to t pull it up. I know that there were these side snaps, but it didn't really prevent the wing droop in my experience. But it just, it just kind of fits, like it crosses in a weird spot. Yeah. Like for a $10 diaper, no, it's not worth it to me. I would never buy this again. I would never recommend this. The nice thing about the brown is that it doesn't stain, but I'm super skeptical about coffee. I've done a little bit of research and there's no evidence really. Also, how do we know that this is actually coffee and not just a brown colored diaper? We don't. I'm sure we could ask the brand, but everything, if you listen to the podcast with Ket, she said the first thing we should know about, first thing we should know about China is that China lies. So the inside of the diaper, it's just a regular PUL. Actually, I think this is TPU. This is 100% polyester, but it feels like TPU. I don't know. And then they've done this really cheap way of reinforcing the seams. That's okay. I've seen, we do, we see that with North American brands. 
I do prefer like a little bit of PUL here. I think that that would give it better strength than this cotton material. I'm half tempted to just like keep the, washing this even though I don't want to put it on my child just because it was kind of mediocre and seeing how it washes up like with a year of heavy washing. That's been one of my my skeptics. This might be a good diaper for you if you have a really big child because I think we were like, we're snapped down a rye snap and we've got a ton of, ton of width. I would not recommend this if you have a small child. You'll probably hate the fit and hate your life with it. <laughs> okay, you probably won't hate your life. That's being a little dramatic. Um, it just was not, it's just not a good fit. I don't like it. I wouldn't recommend it. And if we're comparing it, there's a reason that we pay money for for diapers is because somebody goes in and makes the design for it and makes it fit good. And this diaper is really missing the mark. The tabs are too stretchy, the diaper is too wide, the hip just doesn't fit, and it's just too big. This is, as a one size option, this is too big. Too big of a diaper. Otherwise, build your stash with diversity. Maybe have a few of these and a few of these and save up. Um, honestly, this diaper, I'm going to keep washing it to see how it wears, but I'm not going to put it on my child because I just got frustrated with it every time I do. True story. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if there's a diaper you'd love to see more about. Drop me a comment and you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and anywhere else. Bye!